all summer. When the water gets warm, I might not be here. Leo, please. Please, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leo! Wasn't that Laura's date? Looks like he didn't get any last night. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Jeez, psycho mom. No wonder Laura's so waxed out. How dare you? Back off, lady. Don't you get it? These things kill. Back up. Oh. What's your problem? My body. Yeah. And my life. So butt out. <laughs> get it? Not just your life. When you hurt yourselves, you hurt other people. You hurt people that love you. Russ, why don't you let me invite you come? Don't you? Your lives are so precious. Uh, don't you have any respect? I mean, my, for the people who love you, for your family, for... Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Laura's right in your every beat of your heart, and they just... They trash their lives with cigarettes and drugs. Why don't they know how precious their life is? I don't know, sweetheart. I don't know. This is Dr. Martin. How serious? No helmet, huh? I, I, listen, uh, is the patient stabilized? What about brain function? All right, listen, I'll be right there. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Did you ID him? Well, check his wallet and see if he's an organ donor. Do you know what it's like to die of lung cancer? Um, gross. It is gross. You end up in the hospital. You can't breathe. Look, You're in pain. That's enough. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My friend's under a lot of stress. Oh, she gets to yell at us. Come on. Jeez. No, 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 no. You didn't have to wait in. No, I didn't. I have never seen you go off like that in public. What the hell is wrong with you? Come here. All right, how far are you from the hospital? Rosader's on call. He can handle it till I get there. Is this patient conscious? There's no brain function at all? All right, have you notified the family? Okay, all right. Just keep him on life support. Uh... Listen, one more question. Was his heart damaged in this accident? I wasn't going to tell you, or at least not for a while. But you were so into it. Planning this exciting European adventure. I thought you were, too. I was dreaming. There's no way I'm going with you. Why? Is it because... I mean, the way I feel about you. No. No, I'm cool with that. And, and it would have been great. Us backpacking to all the places we talked about. But now you don't want to. No, now I can't. Why not? Because I'm dying. your heart, but that they treated it. Your mom said you were getting better. That's what she wants me to think. Because she's afraid if I know the truth. She's lying to me, and I'm letting her. Why? So she can keep believing she's protecting me. But if your mom didn't tell you, then... Who did? Did... Did Dr. Joe say that? No. Then, then how do you know? Promise me. What? That you won't tell my mom I found out. But, Lori, you guys could comfort each other.
other. Oh, you think? Hey, Mom, it's okay. You know, everyone has to die sometime. Yeah, yeah, that, that would really work. Why are you being so mean? What? You want me to put on a happy face? You're not dying, Laura. I won't let you. Why didn't you tell me about Laura? <laughs> Probably because I haven't told her. Ugh. Don't lecture me, okay? You've got to say something. This is her life. Jamie asked me the other day when Laura was going to get better. What did you say? <laughs> I said any day now. <laughs> He's just a kid. He's our kid. <laughs> Would you have done any better? No. No, probably not. You know, I, 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 I look at Laura and she's so alive that I... I feel if I don't say it to her out loud, it'll never happen. I knew she was ill, but I had no idea it was this bad. What were you going to do anyway if you knew? I mean, she needs a transplant. And even if a new heart becomes available, I mean, the doctors say she doesn't really have a good, good chance. Listen, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, just want to say goodbye. Why, are you leaving? Yeah, yeah, I have an emergency at the hospital. A guy on a motorcycle got sideswiped by a truck, and he's on life support in a coma, so they're going to bring him in right now. Well, Jake, is, uh, is he going to survive? Brooke, I know what you're getting at. And I had the same thought myself. We have a young guy who's in an accident, and there's no brain function. Could he be a donor? Maybe. But it's not that simple. Laura's name just went on the list, and there's other people who are in front of her. And even assuming that this, this guy is an organ donor, it doesn't mean that his heart is going to be compatible with hers. So how soon would you know that? Well, we, we have to get consent from the family just to do the testing. And you have to keep in mind, this patient is still alive. And I'm talking like I can't wait for him to die. God, I sound like a monster. All right, well, listen, if, if I hear anything, I'll let you know, okay? Okay, thanks, Jake. All right, give me a call. I will. <laughs> Am I a monster? No, no, no. Hey, you would do anything to save Laura's life. And in my book, that makes you a hero. I'm running out of ways to fight. Listen. Yes, I really, uh, there's our request, but if, if you don't mind being a vulture, I don't. What do you mean? Well, beats the hell out of sitting here. Why don't we go to the hospital, wait and see what happens? Okay? Come on. Let's do it. It's not if. It's not if anymore. It's when. If Dr. Joe didn't say that it was terminal, Leo told me. Leo knows? But Leo isn't a doctor. No, but his brother is. One time I overheard my mom and Dr. Hayward and Dr. Joe. She was very upset. Like it, like it was worse than what she's telling me. So I made Leo pester his brother. Remember, David was giving me all those tests? And David found out you were dying? Pretty much. Barring a miracle. Believe in miracles. 
You don't. I can tell by the look on your face you're already saying goodbye. Oh, no, Laura, I just, I don't want to lose you. I'm scared. save your daughter. But you're acting like this is a scavenger hunt, and this boy's heart is the prize. Jake, I would trample over the competition to win it. Well, that wouldn't be fair, and that's the reason why we have a waiting list. Well, Lori isn't done. She's not going to wait. She's just going to... She's going to die. Shh. Okay. Brooke. Brooke, let's just say that we do find a viable heart. Are you willing to steal it from the other steal people it. on the wait, list? Wait, that are hold, headlong? hang on a second. Just a second. She's not some kind of ghoul, okay? I, I She's a mother in I... distress. And just for the record, if that was Jamie's life on the line, I'd be chasing that ambulance, too. Well, it seems like that's what's happening here, Ted. Well, I'm sorry, Jake, but as long as we're here, you want to give us some... tell us about this young man. I know he was, he was riding a motorcycle. Yes, right? yes, he was on a motorcycle. He wasn't wearing a helmet. We all know that's like playing Russian roulette with your life, so and he lost. He's and on he's... life support? For now, for now. And what about his heart? Is his heart damaged? It's not an issue. He wasn't checked off as an organ donor on his license. Well, what about the next of kin? Have you called them? We did manage to find an aunt and an uncle. Yeah. And they should be down in the ER right now. I want to talk to them. Hang on. I can't uh, let you do that. I'm sorry. Listen. What about you? You can do it. You can talk to them. I right, ask them if they're considered, okay? Just, just tell them that they could be saving a life. I understand. Okay? I understand. I'm gonna do my best, okay? okay? Oh. It's taking Jake so Brooke, long. Brooke, listen to me. You gotta try to be patient, okay? You just handed Jake an impossible task. He's downstairs talking to a family that's about to lose someone they love very much. Now he's got to convince them to allow the hospital to harvest his organ. If they could help somebody. I know. I know, and so does he. And if anybody can convince them, it's him. I hope you're right. I'm going to call Laura. If this works, she needs to get to the hospital as soon as possible. Idea. Mrs. Henderson, hi. Uh, can I speak to Laura? When was that? All right, listen, have her call me on my cell phone if you hear from her, okay? She went somewhere with Bianca. So call Bianca's house. Yes, hi. Uh, may I speak to Erica Kane, please? This is Brooke English calling. Hi, Erica. I, um, I was just wondering if you knew where Bianca went, because they, she and Laura went somewhere together, and I need to find Laura, because she needs to get to the hospital as soon as possible. Uh, I, I have to get off. Listen, if you hear from her, please have her call me on my cell phone, okay? What did they say? Did the relatives, did they agree? I'm sorry, Brooke. I tried. What do you mean? They refused? Did they have religious objections? No, no, it wasn't that. Well, why? Well, they love their nephew very much, and they're just not ready to take him off life support, and they want the body left alone. That's it? For now. But I want you to understand, there's several factors involved here. There's com compatibility, and there's timing. And I'm not saying it's not going to happen. It's not possible. But I'm just hoping that another heart will become available soon. Thanks for trying. Let us know. Brooke, I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do. Why wouldn't they want to help somebody? 
Why wouldn't they want to help somebody? You know, you, you really got to get out of here. And we got to pick up Jamie. Why don't, why don't we go do that and I can drive you to home, okay? I just, I need to be a, by myself. I don't, just, I just, don't do... just for a little bit, please. Just. Would you just pick up Jamie, please? I'll be okay. I really, I will. I will. Okay. I'll call you. All right. Thank you. 